When honeybees swarm, it's usually when a hive has become very, very crowded in early spring and it's time, this is how bees reproduce, it's time for the old queen to leave and many of the workers will go with her and then her new daughter queen will hatch after she leaves. So the queen will fly out and the workers will join with her depending on the size of the hive as to the number of workers that are available to leave to go with the queen. This looks like at least 10,000, 20,000 or more bees, quite a huge swarm. These bees will gather together with their queen in a cluster and they will send out scouts to go find a new home. And then the scouts will return and they will dance to indicate where the new home is and bees that watch the dance will then also go check out this new home. And if they like it, they will come back and dance as well. And so the bees actually end up making a democratic decision which home to go to based on the number of bees that are dancing in favor of the one location. Now, what's happening here is a beekeeper is coming along and he's interrupting that process of them moving to whatever home they may or may not have found. And beekeepers, of course, love to get free bees. So underneath the clump, they'll come up with a box and they will sweep or shake the bees into the box. Once they're able to get the queen, into the box, the bees that are up in the air flying around will smell that queen and they will start to march into the box. And also the bees that are in the box with the queen, knowing she's there, they will put their rear ends up in the air and, and open up their nasonoff gland, which is at the tip of their tail. That's the homing scent and they'll release it. And this is basically a pheromone going out saying, and they're fanning their wings to send that scent up. And it's saying, this is home. Everybody come here. This is where mom is, the queen. And the bees that are flying like crazy in the air, as I said the other day with Burlington, they'll start pointing in one direction towards that box. And you can actually see them. There may be thousands of them. And they'll all start to point. And then they'll fly down and they'll go in the box. And then the beekeeper will then take the box away and set them up in a hive. So it's, it's good for the bees because they'll have a proper good structure that they can then continue their life in. Um, otherwise, they would have flown off eventually to whatever home that they found, which may or may not have been a good home considering the radian Times Square. So it's probably better that they go into a proper beehive set up by a beekeeper. Okay.